friends. Today I have a flip through for you of Linda Ravenscroft's Fairy and Fantasy Art Painting and Coloring Book, book number seven. I love her books. Her books are fabulous. I now own all of them. The paper in these books is 300 GSM paper and it is to die for paper. Um, it takes water media, it takes um, colored pencil, um, pretty much anything that you want to throw at it, it will take, and it's really beautiful. So um, that being said, I will just kind of do my little flip through um, because I haven't seen a flip through on YouTube yet for this book, so I thought maybe you would like to check it out. So this is kind of cool, the Time Tangler, um, kind of a... Um, steampunky kind of fairy, which is really, really neat. This is cool. Some of these you can tell have been like um, done from watercolor and some of them you can tell have been done on acrylic. Um, like you can see the texture of the canvas um, from this one, but I still, um, I still think it'd be really cool. Um, maybe that one done in, in colored pencil so it kind of fills in some of the um, tooth of the of the texture of the canvas print. Dragon feathers. She does really awesome dragons. I do like her dragon work very much. This one's cool. Jack Frost. Dragonfly dreams. This is one of my favorites. This is the cover image. Um, really, really pretty. Yeah, this paper. This paper is awesome. Rapunzel's Repose. Pretty. Like, as I'm flipping through here, I'm kind of imagining, ooh, what media would be good on that one? And what would I do with that one? <laughs> it's like the Jabberwocky. Oh, I see. He's kind of a... He's kind of a um, dragon, but he's a... He's... Very interesting, very, very magical fantasy-like creature. Birdie book body, cute. I like this one, Footloose and Fancy Free. This one's nice. That one could be fun to do. It looks like um, it's a water nymph because it looks, she's got shells and um, barnacles on in her hair. The Queen of Summer. <laughs> Annie Oak. That one's nice, Enchantress. That one's pretty. That would be pretty with watercolor or um, even like uh, gelatos or um, the new King Arts gel sticks that I got because they're translucent. So when you put those on, you're going to see the, um, the, the, high, the darks and lows of the paper underneath it, which could be really nice. Well, that was a short flip through. It does not seem to me like there are as many pages in this book as some of her previous books, um, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But nonetheless, I'm very happy to own it. It's a beautiful book. And if you do not have any of Linda's books, um, check out some of the flip throughs here on YouTube. There's, um, there's one for every book that she has. And um, I'll put a link to the website where you can purchase her books down in the description box below. So thank you so much. <laughs> that was short and sweet. And I will see you guys on the next video. Until then, happy coloring. Bye.